can go over this, this. This is just um, finding the missing side, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I hope all of you guys can do that, right? So the first one would be, um, let's see, what would the first one be? Hmm. X squared plus 36 squared equals 45 squared. Subtract 36 squared. And I get X squared equals 45 squared minus 36 squared. And then I square root it. And this is what I put into my uh, calculator. I don't even find out what 36 squared and 45 squared are. I just put that into my calculator. Um, and then X is approximately going to be, oh, no, not approximately. It is equal to, sorry. X is equal to 27. Okay, same with this one. X squared is going to equal 30 squared plus 16 squared. So square root it, and X equals 34. Um, here we have, what do we have? X squared plus 40 squared equals 50 squared. Subtract 40 squared. And I get X squared equals 50 squared minus 40 squared square root. And X is going to equal 30. Okay. Um, for number four, I've got, what do I have? X squared plus eight squared equals 17 squared. Subtract eight squared. X squared equals 17 squared minus eight squared square root. And that means X is going to equal, what number am I on? Four? <laughs> 15. Beautiful. And um, number five, X squared equals 14 squared plus 48 squared. Square root that. And X is going to equal 50. And then the last one, I have X squared plus 15 squared equals 39 squared. Oh, I did hit join. Okay. So subtract 15 squared. And I get X squared equals 39 squared minus 15 squared. Square root that. And X is going to equal 36. Okay. Oh, anybody have any questions on um, the Pythagorean theorem? Awesome. Okay. So we're moving on to, to um, a new unit today. And it's called conic sections. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is circles. So excited, circles. Um, so the equation of a circle is uh, pretty much the, 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 oh my gosh, I can't even think. I can't even talk today. It's pretty much the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, it really is. So um, if I call this, I'm going to just call this, I'm going to write here. Right, this is X and, and Y here, okay? So I have some length here that's A and some length here that's B, okay? Um, so, oh my gosh, I'm so totally doing this wrong. Oh, my Lanta. Why is this not? Oh, that's because I'm doing it on the wrong circle. That's why. So sorry. It's definitely Monday morning. Um, <laughs> um, so here we go. If I do it on this circle, it'll make more sense to my mind. Okay, there we go. So I have my length. Um, this is A and B. So this length here, right here on this side, is um, X minus A. And this length right here is Y minus B. It's just... And then to find my radius, right, I have, this forms a right triangle. So I have A squared, which is X minus A squared plus Y minus B 
squared equals r squared. So it's just a Pythagorean theorem. And how do I get x minus a? It's just the shift here. So this would just be x squared. If I was on the first circle here, because a is 0, this is 0, 0, it'd just be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In this case, it would be 5 squared. So if, if I'm on the center of the circle, it's just x squared plus y squared, right? But if my center of my circle is not on the center of the circle, then I have to shift it. I have to subtract that a squared minus b squared, and that will get me back to my 0, 0. That's all it is. It's a pretty easy equation. This one's easy. Tomorrow will be a little harder. Oh, we did it. Oh. Or the next day. I don't know what day I'm going to do it. I have to try and sp spread stuff out over the next two weeks. Oh, you guys, I don't know. Make you do missing work. Some of you still need to do it. Unless, unless uh, you have some stuff turned in already. Done. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so this week sometime. Yeah. Okay. He, he had to think about it. He was like, oh, maybe. Is it state, your first, your state game? Uh, no, it was Friday and we lost. Oh. So it's just returning stuff. And... Yeah. Okay, so the first thing um, we're going to do is just write the equation of the circle. Pretty easy. I have the center. So the equation says I have, I'm going to rewrite it over here, A minus B. Oh, A minus B. Wow. Okay. It is too early on a Monday morning, you guys. X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared equals R squared, right? So I have a center at zero. So I can actually say this. I can say, if I want to, X minus zero squared plus Y minus zero squared equals the square root of 17 squared. So I get X squared plus Y squared equals 17 questions on that? Are we okay? Siona? That's good? Okay. So if I don't, if I'm not at the center, it's still doing, I'm still doing the exact same thing, you guys. I still have, but now I'm going to say x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 10 squared, right? Or when I simplify it, x minus 5 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 100. I do want to point out this part before we move on. If you look at the signs here inside my, um, my point, the center of my circle, it's plus five, uh, plus 5 and plus 6, right? In my equation, what are they? It's negative, right? So when I go in the equation, it's the opposite sign as what's in the... What's in the um, point given. Okay. So why don't you guys go ahead and do numbers A, B, C, and D. So um, the first one, right, it's just centered at zero, zero. So I know I'm going to have X squared plus Y squared equals 19 squared or X squared plus Y squared equals 361, 361. Okay. And then number B, just a tad bit harder, right? Still centered at zero, zero, so I know I'll have x squared plus y squared equals the square root of 11 squared. So that's going to be, I don't know why I put an equal sign there. Um, x squared plus y squared equals 11. Bless you. You're welcome. And I don't know why I don't have my mask on either. Wow, doing really good today. I do know why, because it's over here. Um... And so the second one, or third one, C, is going to be x minus a negative 15 squared plus y minus a negative 5 squared equals 2 squared. So if I simplify that, I get x plus 15 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 4. 
And then number D should be X minus 14 squared plus Y minus a negative 8 squared equals 4 square root of 3 squared. So I should get X minus 14 squared plus Y plus 8 squared equals what? What's 4 squared of 3 squared? No. 12. No. Wait. 48? 48. Why is it 48? Because it's squaring both the 4 and the square root of 3. So I, you did the square root of 3, great. That's this 3, right? But then 4 squared is also 16. So it's 16 times 3. Are you okay with that? Okay, equals 48. Beautiful. So when you put it into your calculator, I just need to say that. Make sure you put it in parentheses, because if you don't, it will give you 12, okay? All right, so the next one, notice it gives me a center, but it doesn't give me a radius. So basically, I'm just gonna draw a really ugly picture, so don't laugh too bad. Um, here's my circle, right? With my center at zero, zero. And 11, negative 10 is somewhere over here on the circle, right? So I need to find my radius. Right? So with that, I can make a right triangle. I'm going to draw that in a different color. I can make this right triangle with my length being 10 and my um, one side being 10 and one side being, oh, shoot. Sorry, that shouldn't be 10. That should be 11. Being 11 and the other side being negative 10, then I'm going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that will give me my radius, yes? Okay, so my radius is going to equal 11 squared plus negative, oh, r squared, sorry, negative 10 squared, and that's going to be, um, what is that going to be, 121 plus 100, or 221. Okay, so now I can find out what r is, but my equation, um, my equation for my circle, I'm going to zoom back down here, doesn't call for r. It calls for what? r squared. Did I find out what r squared equals? Yeah. So now I don't, if I just don't find the square root, then I'm not going to have to square it again. Does that make sense? So I know what r squared equals, and that's what's going into my, the formula for the circle. So now I can just write it this way. Since I know what r squared is, I can say x squared plus y squared equals 221, and be done. So same thing on this one, only my center is not at 0, 0 anymore. So if I have my lovely right picture here, and my, oh, that was just not really that lovely. That was a horrible, horrible diagram. Let me try again. Whew. Okay, so here's my um, negative 4, 1. So my circle is right here, right? There's the center of my circle, so it's here somewhere. And I've got negative 2, 5. Here's the point on the circle. So now I have to find that distance, right? So I can still draw my, um, my right triangle here. And I can figure out what my distance here is and what my distance here is. This, uh, this point on my, um, on my uh, axis was negative 2, and this point was negative 4. Oh, that should be a 4. Negative 4, so my distance between them is how far? So this length here is 2. Is everyone okay with that? Right? And then this height here is 1, and this height here is 5. So this distance is 1, 2, 3. Four, thank you. Four. <laughs> okay, so now I can do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now you don't have to do it from a picture, right? I can do it just from the numbers, and I could say, um, how did I find that out? Well, I took my um, my x's and I subtracted the difference, right? What's my distance between two, negative two and negative four? Well, it's two. And what's my distance between one and five? Well, it's four. So I know that I have two and four. You can think of it that way. Does that make sense? Okay, so then I have, um, what do I have? R squared, R squared, oi. R squared is going to equal 
2 squared plus 4 squared, which is 4 plus 16 or 20. Yeah, that's right, 20. So now I have my center of my circle, which is this one. Um, so I'm going to use this one. And I've got, let's see, what do I have? X minus F negative 4 squared plus Y minus 1 squared equals 20 because it's R squared, right? R squared is 20. So to simplify it, I've got X plus 4 squared plus Y minus 1 squared equals 20. And that's it. Questions? Questions at home? Are you guys okay? The five of you that are online today. Okay. So go ahead and do... Oh, I guess I have some, extra, some others to do. Great. I didn't realize I had two more to do. Awesome. So I'm still doing the same thing. This one is easy because my center is zero, zero. So I know what my X distance is and my Y distance is, right? So R squared is going to be 2 squared plus 18 squared. That's 4 plus 18 squared. 324. So that's going to be 328 Whew. is R squared. So I know what R squared is. So I've got X squared plus Y squared equals 328. Anybody? Are we okay? Awesome. And then my distance, I'm not going to draw a picture on here. I'm just going to think about what the distance between the two numbers are. So the distance between my X's is 1, right? And my distance between my Y's is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4. Yeah, 1 squared plus 4 squared should be 1 plus 16 or 17. Anyone not know how I got the 1 and the 4? Okay. So then I've got, let's see, x plus 3 squared plus y plus 11 squared equals 17. So I just skipped over the step where I put minus a minus, right, and just put plus. Are you guys okay with that? Hopefully I didn't confuse anybody when I did that. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and work on A through, sorry, I'm making it smaller, A through D. Okay, so, um, ooh. so on A, let's see, R squared is going to equal negative 14 squared plus 7 squared, so that's um, 196 plus 49 so that should be 145, oh, 245. Is that right? Yeah, 245. I think that's right. R squared, oh, no, 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 no. X squared plus Y squared equals 240. Is that, did you guys get 245? Is that right? Okay, thanks. Because for some reason I can't add in my head today. Okay. And then here, the difference between my x's is 1. So r squared is going to equal 1 squared. And the difference between my y's is 0. So that's 0 squared. So 1 squared. Oh. 1 plus 0 equals 1. So r squared equals 1. So we've got, let's see, x plus 17 squared plus y plus 13 squared equals 1. That was easy. Next one. Um, distance between my x's is 1, and distance between my y's is, oh my gosh, 1. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we've got x minus 5 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 2. Eh. And then lastly, on the last question, the distance between my x's is 11 squared. 
and the distance between my y's is 3 squared. So it would be 121 plus 9 is 130. <sighs> x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 130. Okay? So I want to just point out one more time before we go on to the next page is that if in my center my, my x or y value is positive in the equation, it goes in as a negative, right? And if it's negative in my equation, it shows up as a positive. So we make sure we switch the signs. Yes? Okay, because I think now... Okay. Next, we're going to um, talk about identifying the center and the radius, and then we're going to draw it. Draw it. Okay? So I need to find the center of... There we go. The center and my radius. Well, since they're not adding, I'm not adding anything to X or Y, my center of this one would be 0, 0. Is everyone okay with that? Okay. And the radius is, so I know that R squared equals 25, so I take the square root of that, so R equals 5. Right? Drawing this is super hard. Okay? So plot the center of your circle. Count five, left, right, up, and down. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And attempt to draw a circle. And mine's going to look more like a football, but, you know, hey, it's not too bad. I did a decent job today. So plot the circle, count, or plot the center of your circle, and then count how many spaces your radius is in each direction, left, right, up, and down. Questions on that? Not too, not too bad? Okay. So let's do number... Um, Number two, I can keep that up there so you guys can still see it. Okay, so the center is going to be, this is a positive in here, so when I pull it out, it's going to be a negative two, right? And it's a negative in here, so when I pull it out, it should be a positive one. And then my radius, I'm just going to put R. So R squared equals 49, so square root it, so R equals 7. Um, so I've got negative 2, 1. And from the center of my circle, I'm going to count 7 left, right, up, and down. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then attempt to draw. There we go. Not too terribly bad. A circle. Questions? Awesome. So I'm going to do this last one, um, and then you guys are going to get a chance to tr try. So I've got, what do I have? My center is um, 2, negative 3, and my radius is 10, right? The square root of 100 is 10. So if I put my center at 2, negative 3, I'm just going to kind of draw this first. So if I do 2... Uh, sorry, 2, negative 3, there's no way I'm going to be able to count 10, right? Because my graph only goes by 10 squares. So I'm going to change the scale of my graph, and I'm going to count by 2s. So I'm going to say this is 2. I'm going to make this bigger so my numbers look really small. Um, sorry, guys. So this is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 
negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Right? Are we okay with that? Okay, so now I change the scale of my graph. Can I do that? Yeah, you guys can change the scale of your graph, okay? To make it fit my, to make it fit. So now I'm at two, negative three, which is right here, right? And I'm counting 10. So remember, each, each one is gonna be five because they're, they're count by two now, right? I mean, each one is gonna be two because I'm counting by two. So two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So now I've made it so it fits my graph. Can you draw it where your points are not on the graph? Sure, you can try, but it, it won't. Oh, that's a really bad circle. Um, but either way works. I just like changing my scale so it all fits on the graph. Does that make sense? When you're doing them in Delta Math, they'll all fit on whatever graph they give you because they'll give you a graph that fits the circle that you're working with. Okay. Okay, so um, you've got four, three, four, wow, three problems to work on. So go ahead, we've been talking about them. So my center is, um, what is my center? My center, oh, let's make it bigger. Okay, my center is zero, zero, and my radius is two, right, the square root of four. Nice. So zero, zero, two in each direction. Smaller circles are so much easier to draw. Woo. There we go. It's halfway circle-ish. Center of this one is one, negative four. Yes. And my radius is one. So I'm at one, negative one, two, three, negative four. And my center is, my radius is one. So I have this little teeny circle here. And then the center is at, where's the center on C? Zero, negative two, or zero, two. zero, two. Yeah, good. And my radius is four. So I'm at zero, two. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, four, two, four. Ooh, that's a flat bottom circle. Oh, Lord, that is a really bad one. Okay, <laughs> bad circle. I was actually doing relatively well until that one. Really quick, we did that. Sorry, I so the next section, um, we've changed it a little bit. Look, we still have to find the center. We still have to find my center, and we still have to find the um, radius. But look at my equation that they've given me now. It's all jacked up, right? So I need to figure out how to find the center and the um, how to. I, I need to first. I need to put it into the right form for my um, the equation into the right form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add anything that doesn't have a variable to the other side, the equal side, and then put my x's and my y's together in the same area. So I'm going to add 15 here. And then I'm going to write it this way. So I have x squared plus 8x plus some number plus y squared minus 6y plus some number equals 15. Oh, I'm writing too big. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? So I'm going to basically complete the square. You guys did that um, when I was sick or gone or one of those times. Um, I need to know what's going to go on this line right here. So remember how are B and C related to each other? C equals B divided by two squared, right? So I'm going to take eight cut it in half, and then square it. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. 
And whatever you add to one side of the equation, I also have to add to the other side of my equation, right? So I have to add 16 over there. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the y's, okay? So half of negative 6 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. And if I add 9 to one side, I have to add 9 to the other side. Whew. And so if I, if I factor this x squared plus 8x plus 16, I am going to get x plus 4 squared. Plus, and if I factor y squared minus 6y plus 9, I'm going to get y minus 3 squared. Ooh, there's the equation of a circle right there. Okay? And it's going to equal, oh, good Lord, have mercy. Okay, 15 plus 16 is 31 plus 9 is 40. Okay, 40. So the center of my circle is at negative 4, positive 3. And then my radius is going to be uh, the square root of 40, which is approximately equal. And honestly, I'm just going to put it in, because I have to graph it, I'm just going to put it in decimal form. So what's the square root of 40? It's going to be 4 point something. Um, second square root, oh, what log? Second square root 40. 6.3. Why did I say 4? First, it's 6.3. 6.3. Okay? So now I'm going to graph that. So I've got, is there any questions on what I did, actually? You guys in here? At home? Anybody? Anywhere? Okay. So I've got negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 3. Okay, there's the center of my circle. And I've got to go 6.3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a third-ish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a little bit. So... Oops. There's my circle. Questions? This part is probably the hardest part because we're combining two or three different things all at one time. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for number two. Let me keep that up here for you so you can see. So I'm going to subtract 15. I'm going to add 15 again. I'm going to have to write smaller this time. So I've got x squared plus 6x plus some number plus y squared minus 4y plus some number equals 15. So what's that number that goes on here? Well, half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. And I add 9. And then half of 4 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So I add 4. So I'm going to get, let's see, if I factor, I get x plus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 19 plus 9 is 28. 28. So my center is at negative 3, 2. And my radius is at um, second square root 28, 5.3. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, and a little bit. Two, three, four, five, and a little bit. Okay. And. Okay. Questions? 
Okay, so number three is a little different, just a tad different. I'm still doing exactly the same thing. So I'm going to add 75. Ooh, there's a 75. So I've got x squared, but there's no other x number. So I'm just going to do plus y squared plus 10y plus some number equals 75. Um, what goes on my line? Half of 10 is... Half of 10 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So I'm adding 25. So I'm going to get x squared. So I didn't have to do anything with the x. Um, and then y plus 5 squared equals 100. So my center is at 0, negative 5. And my radius should be 10. So once again on this one, because my radius is 10... I'm going to change my scale so um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 4, 9, 6, negative, eight, negative 10. Okay, so I've changed my scale. Um, my center is 0, negative 5, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10, 2, 4, 5, okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so there we go. There's my circle. Okay, now you guys try. Try and leave it so you guys can see. Do you need me to leave the work up there? with the problems, is that better? Or you don't really need to see the, gr the graph right now. I forgot to start recording that. Woo, that was really good. So my center is one, one. And, oh, you know what? I think this went in the wrong order. Oh no. Okay, never mind. One, one. I must have skipped a page because I think that we skipped a page. Are you guys in your notes and we skipped a page? Did we skip a page in the notes? No? Huh. Can I just go? We skipped a page. My bad. Okay. It's because I'm probably thinking ahead to the next lesson. So. Okay. So this one is going to be x squared plus 8x plus some number plus y squared plus 4y plus some number equals negative 11 because I subtract 11, right? So let's see, eight, half of 8 is 4, so that would be 16, right? So plus 16 and then plus 4. So that's going to give me x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 9. Yeah, that's right, 9. So my center is at negative 4, negative 2, and my radius is 3. So negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And I'm at 3, huh? So 3... Three, two, three, three. And there's my circle. We're doing okay so far? You guys think you can handle this? Circles? Awesome. All right, so we got x squared minus 2x plus some number plus y squared plus 6y plus some number equals negative 9. So let's see, half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, half of 6, that's 9, right? I'm going to add 9. So x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 1. So my center 
is at 1, negative 3, and my radius is at 1. Hi, Shalali. Um, we're at 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 1, negative 3, 1 in each direction. Beautiful. I like making little circles. There we go. I missed one of the points, but, you know, hey, I tried. Okay. There you go. There you go, guys.